welcome to another jewelry making video brought to you by KeepsakeCrafts.net. Today we're going to use some beautiful lamp work beads along with a multitude of crystal dangles and make a lovely summer bracelet. So to make our bracelet today, first of all, we'll need some focal beads and I found these lamp work beads at a bead show and I thought they were just beautiful with their summer colors and designs. So I'm going to use these and then in between them I'm going to use these blister pearls from House of Gems and then in between all of these I'm going to use a bunch of 4 millimeter Swarovski crystal dangles. To finish your bracelet you'll need a clasp, you'll need two each wire protectors, crimps and crimp covers, you'll need head pins for all of your dangles. For tools you'll need the usual wire cutters, round nose pliers, and chain nose pliers. And other tools that you may find useful will be the one-step looper, the one-step crimper, and crimping pliers. You'll also need about a 12 inch piece of bead stringing wire and bead clamps are helpful too. So the first thing I did was lay out my main beads on a bead design board just to get an idea of how these were going to fit. And then I decided that I was going to have groupings of eight crystals in between each of these beads and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces to fill them so I'll need 64 of these little dangles. And you'll also need the same number of head pins and you can adjust your numbers depending on the size that you want your bracelet. So let me show you how to make a dangle. These are just little silver plated head pins. In fact, all my findings today are silver plated with a ball on the end of the head pin. And here's one way to make a simple loop. You use your wire cutters to cut the wire 3 eighths of an inch beyond that wire. And if it's silver plated or sterling silver, of course, make sure that you save the trimmings for recycling. And then use a pair of round nose pliers to grasp that loop that wire and make a loop. Bend it back to center it over the bead and there you have a little dangle. But I have a tool that makes quick work of these dangles and that's the one step looper. So we'll once again slide a bead onto a head pin and I've done a Friday findings video showing you how to use the one step looper. It's up on the screen so you can check it out. But you just push the bead right up to this little arm here on the left and then squeeze. But basically in one step it makes your loop for you. Now the problem with this fine gauge wire is that the one step looper won't close your loop completely so you just need to bring in a pair of pliers and close that. So the next step is to make as many dangles as you need for your bracelet. So now I've made all of my dangles and I've also separated them into eight piles of eight. And so now I'm just going to start stringing on my beads. And I'm leaving this end of the bracelet open in case I need to adjust it for length later on. And so once you have all your little loops made, it's pretty easy to just thread a pile onto your wire and then add your next bead and keep going. And so there, you can see you've got that pretty little cluster of beads in between each of the larger beads. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish stringing all these. So now that I have all of the beads strung, um, I've realized that I need a little bit more length. These kinds of designs can be tricky because it's tough to calculate just how much space these little strung on dangles will take up. So I'm just going to add a few silver spacers to each end. So now it's time to finish up our ends. And we just do that by sliding on a crimp, slide on a wire protector, slide part of your clasp, half of your clasp, into the wire protector loop, and then slide the wire back through the crimp. And to do your crimping, you can do it several ways. You can use crimping pliers, you can just use chain nose pliers and flatten the crimp, or you can use this great tool, I've reviewed it, I've done a Friday findings video on it, called the one step crimper which is what I'm going to use. You just pop your crimp in there 
always, no matter how you decide to crimp, test before you snip off the excess wire. And then if you like, you can cover that crimp with a crimp cover. Crimp cover kind of looks like a, a donut with a bite taken out of it. And my favorite way of putting those on is to use crimp pliers because they've got these round bits that will hold on to that. So you just grab your crimp cover, don't squeeze too hard yet. Slide it over your crimp and then squeeze gently. And it just looks like you have a bead there. Repeat to add the other half of the clasp to the other end of your bracelet, making sure that you don't pull it too tight so that your bracelet will hang gracefully. So here's another look at the bracelet we made today. I hope that you like this project and you'll give it a try. Whatever season or color scheme you're going for, sliding the loops of little wire dangles onto bead stringing wire gives a bracelet a really full, dramatic look. Thanks so much for watching Keepsake Crafts videos. Up on the screen are a couple more bracelet making videos you may enjoy. And please be sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel so you'll see more videos like this one. And check out my blog KeepsakeCrafts.net where I have lots more creative ideas and inspiration. Happy creating. Bye-bye.